What's up guys and welcome back to On The Brick with a bonus mock review. Today I have for you a custom version of the Ulysses Space Probe. There are a few of these going around right now, but this one comes from Muscovite Sandwich. Before I go any further, as always, you can find the link to the instructions down below, but I also sell a part kit for this for if you want to skip the hassle. Links to that are also down below, and thanks to the people who've already bought this, I can get that new UCS R2-D2. This mock contains only 167 pieces and in my opinion is the most accurate recreation of the Ulysses space probe. So if you are one of the countless people who LEGO disappointed and you were not able to get their version, this is a really nice alternative. And just to be clear, it is 170th scale or the same scale as the space shuttle. Okay, let's be honest here. How many of you actually heard about the Ulysses space probe before this promotion? As a big fan of space, I had never heard of this thing before, and that's probably because it was launched back in 1990 and it ended up being decommissioned in 2009, but also because it didn't really do anything too exciting for the general public at least. Whereas the two Voyagers explored the outer planets and New Horizons explored Pluto and beyond, Ulysses' main mission was to orbit the sun and study it at all latitudes. In all fairness, if you like space and science and whatnot, it is interesting to read about because it wasn't really that simple. Now, why LEGO chose this space probe to be the promotion is actually quite simple, Sort of. Originally, Ulysses was supposed to launch in May of 1986 aboard the Space Shuttle Challenger. However, in January of 1986, we saw the unfortunate loss of the Challenger and her crew. So, the Ulysses space probe ended up being launched on the Discovery Shuttle in 1990. With all that said, Muscovite Sandwich did a wonderful job here. There are some things that I'm not entirely a fan of, but it's nothing against Muscovite as LEGO did it in their version 2. Basically, in reality, anything that's yellow here is actually gold on the spacecraft. It's the same way in all spacecraft, but unfortunately those pieces just don't come in gold. So like I said, I can't blame Muscovite Sandwich, nor am I, nor do I think it actually takes away from the build, it's just one of those minor preferences. I do personally think it looks good as it is here. Also, for the record, the Ulysses space probe isn't actually this entire thing, it's really just this yellow part at the top. The rest of this is kinda just what it used to get where it was going. Like I said, it wasn't a simple thing. Muscovite Sandwich did manage to include some of the details. There is obviously the high gain antenna on top of the space probe and the RTG. Radioisotope thermoelectric generators are used on a lot of space probes and even things like the Curiosity and Perseverance rovers on Mars. This is actually the reason you don't see solar panels, because RTGs are just more effective, even when going directly to the sun. But I don't really know what the round tile is, because I couldn't really find anything saying what it is. It might be something called dust, but beyond that, I don't know. When I look at this image of the actual space probe shortly after deployment from the Discovery, I have no idea what LEGO was looking at when they designed their version. The neck, if you will, is too short on their version, and the main body is incredibly smooth when in reality, there are several ridges on it. Which is why I actually prefer what Muscovite did here with using these grill tiles. For that matter, LEGO's also has theirs be half white and half yellow, when in reality you can see that's not the case. Muscovite's version is once again much more accurate when you can see that it is a majority of white with a strip of yellow. I also don't understand why LEGO used a grey piece for the engine when it very clearly isn't. I'm actually incredibly glad that I didn't waste my points on this promotion because it is just not accurate. Only the best is good enough just isn't true for this one. Muscovite's build is incredibly sturdy by the way. It doesn't come with a stand, but it can hold up on its own or you can display it in the space shuttle as well. There are a lot of interesting techniques used in this build. I'm actually gonna just slowly take it apart here. You can take off just the space probe if you want. That is entirely possible. Yes, I took off a few extra pieces. The neck joint is a build of its own. Again, it's incredibly sturdy, but I do want to say this this is the one part that I had trouble with. It was a little hard getting all of these pieces on there. 
but in the end it does work out and it's very sturdy like I said. If I take off this dish then you can see a little bit of how it's done inside here. In fact you can also take off the engine both of these slide right on in it's really nice. And if I take off a side panel you can see a little bit more of how it's done. Like I said, the instructions for this are free, so it's not like I'm giving away any trade secrets here. Again, this section, or like the neck of the build, is the only part that I had any trouble on. So if you are building this part, just take extra care. And that is the Ulysses Space Pro by Muscovite Sandwich, a build that I think is far superior to the official LEGO build in just about every way. Not only can you actually get it, it has more details and is more accurate than the official LEGO version. Please do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below though, remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Do remember that you can find the links to both the instructions and the part kit in the instructions down below. And as always, a huge thank you to all of my patrons for their continued support, especially people like Jonathan and Project Elements. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.